Hey guys, welcome to another beer inspection. Today I'll be inspecting Dogfish Head Squall IPA 90. Hey guys, I forgot to mention the commenter of the week in the original video, so I want to thank Kaka Sipatosi for commenting on my last video, and I appreciate all the other comments, so let's get back to the original video, guys. So Dogfish Squall IPA 90. Um, I have tried a Dogfish um, IPA 90, the original, and um, it's been a while since I've tried it, so I can't really compare it. When I drink this, I'm not gonna be able, I'm not gonna be able to compare it because I don't remember much about it. Um, been anxious to try this one. I've been holding this one off for a week now, so let's get the specs on this first. So Dogfish Head Squall IPA. It's an American Double Imperial IPA style of beer. It's brewed by Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, and they're located in Milton, Delaware. Has an ABV of nine percent. The IBU I cannot find on their website, and its availability is limited. Um, it is an unfiltered beer, and it's 100% bottled condition. As you can see, I'll be using the brandy snifter, so it's a week of anticipation, at least for me. So let's get this inspection started, guys. So let's get to the pour. I'm not drinking this whole thing. I've got a buddy of mine helping me with this big bottle. Let's take a look. I'm going to pass this over to my buddy right here. Alright, so the color on this, it's, it's, it's a nice um, dark amber. It's got that, um, go with like an orange, orange, more dark, like dark orange color. It's, it's a hazy. Um, the head on this, I mean, I didn't pour it that much, but I mean, my, my buddy over here poured it in a, a Pilsner glass, a pint glass, I'm sorry, and um, got like a nice finger head. Yeah, I mean, the head, let me see the head on this real quick. It's got like an off brown um, color, like tannish, you'd say. But overall, it's I mean, this is expected from IPA. This screams IPA all the way as far as its appearance is concerned. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. So let's see how this beer smells, guys. So let's get to the smell on this IPA. Right away, the first initial flavor I get is um, I get that citrusy orange flavor smell. I get some malt. Get some pine like piney hops. That I get that like perfume like alcohol smell, but it's very faint. The the, the dominant the dominant aroma is um orange. Orange and piney hops. Maybe a little grapefruit, but for me, it's all the way orange. Yeah, so out of out of 10, I'm going to give this a 8.5 out of 10, guys. So let's see how this beer tastes. Hey, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, I'm finished with the beer. I didn't even leave any. Um, usually, for this segment, I use, usually leave a little for the camera. But what ended up happening was I, I lost track. I was having so much fun drinking this beer that I just lost track and I just finished it off. So what I got was um, in the front and middle end, it was just I got that grapefruit bite. It was mild, mild bitterness, um, very mild. The f it finished off with a multi caramel taste, which is very subtle. Um, there it was. There was some other stuff going on in the taste. It was somewhat complex, but I couldn't put my finger on it, to be honest with you. Um, if you drink it, I, I'm sure you'll get something different, as always, but there's some, there's, it was very complex, which I usually enjoy. 
the the texture on this um, it was smooth the carbonation was soft but they had some it had a little um, fizziness to it the the body on this I want to say light medium I mean like I said earlier I thought I wouldn't be able to finish this or this whole bottle but um, I did share it and I realized you know what I could I could finish this so if I get this again I'll definitely drink I could drink this solo Overall, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. I I know I say this all the time, but I enjoyed this a lot, and I'm very impressed. So let's get to the final inspection, and I'll, we'll finish this up. Hey guys, welcome to the final inspection. I honestly have minimal complaints about this beer. Um, I wish it was a little more bitter on the taste, but... Even then, uh, it's not much of a complaint. The price of this, I got this for $5 at the store. I don't know if it was on sale. I don't believe it was on sale. But for $5, for this style, I mean, this kind of beer, Dogfish Head, I think I'm giving it a 90. I'm giving it a 90 out of 100. No complaints. Minimal complaints. So, yeah. Leave comments. Um, subscribe. Rate. Um, check out my blog. And have a good day, have a good night, and cheers.